do we start with the word of prayer lord you are good and your mercy endureth forever we thank you for this day this is the day you've made we'll rejoice and we will be glad in it we thank you god that we we can depend on your mercy and grace following us every step of the way this day lord i thank you that we'll have a good spirit and a good attitude lord jesus will rest in who you are not in who we are not in what we know and what we feel but what we know your word says about us god we can do all things through christ there's you are we are more than conquerors lord jesus there's nothing too hard for our god and so we give you praise glory honor because it's already yours jesus thank god amen amen and time for the faith walk of the day listen um i come from a big family a lot of sisters and one of which i traveled with for about 17 18 years and you know being married for 17 years uh I, I it's safe to say i've had a lot of arguments in my day a lot of times where i could uh push my own way a lot of times where i could um defend my position and why i'm right um let me tell you what philippians 2 4 and 5 says don't look out only for your own interests but take the interest of others you must have the same attitude that jesus christ had so too busy in sometimes it, when we're in an argument we're too busy defending how we feel to actually take a real look and survey the whole situation why they felt that way why they responded that way you don't know what a person had what they encountered before they got to you you don't know the phone calls they got you don't know what they've encountered you know and sometimes that's the energy that we bring we had a bad day a bad phone call your kids was bad argue with your husband and you get to talking to somebody else the only thing you have in you is argue. And so you always have to regulate your emotions and your spirit by waking up, maybe we get up mornings, and praying and seeking God and, and putting God in charge of your day because you're, the enemy's always trying to get you. He's always trying to bring you down. He's always trying to frustrate you and get you out of pocket so you miss what God is saying to you throughout your day. You may need to witness somebody. You may need to share God's goodness with somebody. Maybe you're going to experience something great and you miss it because you're in a bad headspace. Guard your thoughts. Guard your mind. Guard your personality and your attitude as you go to work and deal with others. Yes, you'll still encounter arguments, but it doesn't mean that you have to blow it. it doesn't mean you have to lose it, argue, and go crazy. You don't have to do all of that. You can still stay calm. You can still stay in faith. You can still represent Christ even when situation in situations when things are difficult or even people are difficult because, yes, they are difficult. That is the truth. But it doesn't mean that you have to come out of yourself, come out of your personality and lose it. So anybody going to work today, dealing with this difficult situation, hold on to your peace. Hold on to your faith. Remember that you represent Christ. And guess what? The other person just might too. Hey, listen, we ain't worried about them. I'm worried about you right now. Keep your peace and keep your faith. Don't lose it. All right. That is my faith walk for the day, ladies and gentlemen. Yesterday, I was driving in my car after I dropped my kids off at school, and um, I was listening to one of my favorite songs, and it's called Will You Be Ready by Commission. It is a song that brings me to instant tears, um, but it is, it is a song that makes me think about people who don't know Jesus. And for believers, that is our job, to reach the lost. There are so many people who have not heard the gospel. And I know sometimes church people, we get caught up in who's more saved and who's more righteous.